that a Limosho local government area is the largest local government in Lagos State and arguably the largest in Nigeria with over 2 million inhabitants. Do you know that Shasha is a major community in Alimosho due to its dense population? Located in the eastern part of the local government is one of the most successful community development associations in Lagos State. It is called Chris Ogumbanjo CDA. Shasha je iluti o je pe opolopo awon eniyan won fe lati wa gbe ati lati sise tori wa ri pe o le gbo wa jagiri jagun kankan ni sasa awuri le ni tu o te ilu ido amo sasa te ni wa royin bo wa ri bo wa rausa wa ri yoba ko si eya to fe ni sasa to ni ri yero cha ma si di mi bin sin sori pe ibo ni wa ri pe nkan lu e se do kiran sin to mi na ti lo lu won ri Ah, so at my bachin key, a bachin kira. So Ben on Motoni, Luya Lausa. Come out, so Luya, you valor repete. Population T. Anini Chacha at Lenny Million Miji. Loto of Zid Anini Chacha and B is about twenty two. Twenty one, Italy could you approve T. or Doambi? So Loa Vijay twenty two. And Nala no answer as a meeting, be security meeting. So Bachiman, she every fortnight in here. Collective effort, ni. you understand? And at the same time, Tiko Basi Agboye, Tabia Soye, Laniwon, Kole possible. I am very, very proud of them. I've been living in this city for upwards of eight years. This road that we are standing on now was narrow. Matter of fact, the transformer you are seeing here was right in the middle of this road now. The CDA moved this transformer to this place. Not only moved the transformer, we had to sand fill, you can see. We had to sand fill all this because it was, what shall I call it? <laughs> it was not motorable. So we had to bring it to this stage so that we at least can go into our state. Motingbe Ogunri de Otito 45 years, 31 years ago. Nigba yen, Igbo ni gbo gbo e. Si ata ko wa lati ile tenant ta ti rent ni lupeju, o la fi se lekun la fi se window. Ko si nkan kan ladugbo yi gbo ni, tori a ma lo nra omi lati dope mu, lati ma lo npon omi wa, a ma fi ke giru o la fi npon mi, to mi ju o ba ro, a ma gbe ojo. Igba mi omi ojo yan ma gbe sinu drum. Tama o la mama se ta mama mu titi di asiko yi ti olorun ti wa to ti wa ran wa lowo Chris Ogumbanja city is a mixed environment going by the tribes of its residents with the Yorubas, Aousas and Igbos duly represented the estate is like a mecca of sorts that hosts more of the elites but their major challenge and fear is the rainy season Eyi ni ewo bo se ri ni si to ba re pe aduro ni omi ati ma fe wo le elomi lo gbogbo bi bayi kikida omi ni bo be la se ra won kini e owo gbogbo gbogbo la fin ku awon broken blocks ta fin se titi yi eh oni le to ti chairman wa yi oni awon eru to ko wa lati lo to mi ti ba gbogbo eje mo be yen sugbon tori pe ko duro na o nje ki ibe yen ko se ri le si le ri bo se wa leni when i saw the water that year that was the same year that uh, rain fell me like bought the property Ray fell that year. They even lost a child in this school, this Shasha community school that year. It was bad. So I ran away. But a neighbor called me and said, if you don't do this, who will do it? We'll join hand together, then I have to come back. But good enough, I had another property inside, so I started developing that. And ever since we have been working together to make sure that we're able to rest the water. Despite knowing that the government of Lagos State under His Excellency Governor Akimumi Ambode is a responsive government, they took a decision to complement the effort of the state by shouldering part of the responsibilities. Construction of culverts numbering more than 10, building of fences, 
to control the ravaging flood, regular grading of the 1.2 km road, provision of electricity all became the projects to be embarked upon by the community. But little did they know that this will eventually become an award-winning attempt. We can't just continue to say government should do everything. Um, personally, I've spent over two million here. I brought a grader and uh, we have to clear the gutter a bit and then get some broken blocks because we discovered that the red sand will not be able to do the job. So from the Ajako bus stop up to the uh, Bale at Bamekede, we had to fill the whole um, street. They will be able to drive on the road and it will be a bit better for every one of us. I can't live in Ikoyi, but I can make myself to be like Ikoyi. And since government cannot do everything for me, I also know that I can do some for myself. And we, I have um, the like mind in the estate, people who are also progressive in their thinking. They all come together and say, we are going to get this thing done. There are over six schools, both public and private, within the community. One of which produced 17-year-old Olufemi Olasende, who emerged as the 2016 one-day governor in Lagos State. His dream is to one day become an engineer so as to emulate Governor Ambode, whom he described as a kind-hearted man with many parts. Being the one-day governor is a good experience. Then also it also inspired me. The reason why governors are elected is because they are there to serve the people, not to serve themselves. While I was in office as the one-day governor, I requested that every route and villages that lead to my school, I requested that they should be constructed. I requested for an electronic library for my school and lastly a school bus, which we serve as a transportation system for the school to convey students and teachers for several competitions and others. Governor Kim Rambody is a good governor, a man for the job. It gives me more assurance that he has not forgotten my school and he has not forgotten my proposal. So I believe Governor Rambody he will still grant my request. Now, having taken a step forward to lead, Neighboring CDAs are beginning to emulate Chris Ogumbanjo CDA to make more projects visible, thereby justifying Governor Ambode's policy of empowering the CDAs to take full ownership of their self-help projects. But in doing this, the need for corporate organizations, philanthropists and well-meaning Nigerians to complement the effort of the CDA is required. We want government to, do, to be able to channel out this water I don't know how they're going to do it, but just to channel out this water. Instead of water coming out of the estate, it's going into the estate because the estate is lower than the than outside. So we want the government to help us and channel anyhow. I don't know, but just to channel this water out. We've done everything for ourselves: road, electricity, water, security. The only thing we are asking government to do is please compliment us, get the road done, let this water flow. Since we already have storm water drainage at Bameke, help us link it. We can't do it because it involves pulling down some people's fence. You know, individual can't do that. That's the only thing we are telling government to do. If they are able to help us do this drainage and help us fix this road, I think it will really minimize the suffering that the people here are suffering.